He's Mike Hager. He's from Rutherford County. Uh, he's the House Whip, so he's someone who is, is one of the members of the leadership. He also chairs the uh, Public Utilities Committee in the House, and he has proposed uh, a measure, something that the John Locke Foundation talked about doing uh, right after the initial 2007 legislation was passed. Uh, the JLF opposed the legislation to begin with, but, with, but once it went into effect, uh, the talk was let's try to at least limit, if not repeal, the, the mandated uh, purchase of energy. His bill, initial, initially his bill would have uh, capped the mandate at 6% of the portfolio. It would have ratcheted upward from 3% to 6%, and then it would have phased out uh, by around the end of this decade. He made some modifications to it uh, and has attempted to get it forward, but he can't seem to get it out of his own committee. And that's uh, an issue that he says is caused because the Speaker of the House, Tom Tillis, also a Republican, opposes it, and he doesn't want it to happen. That phase-out that Representative Hager was proposing is interesting. Rick, as I understand it, what he was trying to do was to essentially compromise with some of the folks who like the idea of this uh, renewable energy mandate and say, look, let's give those companies who are involved in these industries a number of years in order to, frankly, sink or swim on their own. So he was trying to bring people along in order to pare back this mandate, and it appears to be stalled. Yes, that's right. One thing he wanted to do was to make sure that any uh, current contracts would be honored because the utilities have had to purchase this renewable energy, and what they've had to do is to go out and find uh, vendors on the marketplace, and they've entered into contracts that may last several years. So one of the things the bill would do is make sure all the current contracts were honored, and, uh, and when they expired, then they wouldn't necessarily be renewed.